Eh? This seems like a good system, right? Have I mentioned it's Thursday? Because it's Thursday. Come back in here, finish the multi- Oh no. Oh, hi. Welcome to Sewing Art Studios. I am Jo. This week, this is all over the place. This vlog, it covers over a month of time. <laughs> I just kept not being able to get it out for some reason. It's probably a little disjointed and some of the stuff obviously happened a while ago. So let's jump right into what happened and then I'll meet you back here at the end and I'll catch you up on everything else. Okay, so I ordered all those magnetic snaps, right? And this is the style bag that got me to do it because it's a cam snap right now, which if it has something in it that's hard or like, and you can snap it from behind, but I think a magnetic snap would, would work a lot better here. But this is a little like crossbody bag I made. A friend of mine was very excited about it, so I might be giving it to her. These clips here, I like the carabiner style better than the like, the ones you like push the toggle down. That's why I ordered a bunch more of those. And yeah, I really like it. I don't love this strap material either, but this was an experiment. It was nice to have as a display piece though on my table, along with these, which are for my nibblings. This is actually leftover, not leftover, but like salvaged vinyl from a fossil purse that my sister and my nibblings got me. Okay, hi. It is 11.38 p.m. on Thursday. I'm very tired. It's only just now hitting me. I hosted trivia tonight. It was beer themed. It was wonderful. It was one of the best turnouts we've had. And it was just a lot of fun. As soon as I got home, I finished editing the video that's going up tomorrow. And I know I don't need to post a video tomorrow because I'm on it every other week's schedule, but I'm really enjoying doing these like mini projects. So this is like less than 10 minutes, just a quick how I made my sew on, sew in labels, my iron on whatever DIY business tags. I'm gonna go to bed. I am helping my friend work in their workshop tomorrow, so I won't have much of the day to myself, but I'll have the morning so I can upload this, get the subtitles done. It's a short video, so it shouldn't take too long. I feel like I have a busy weekend, but it's all like fun social things. One of the things is D&D. One of the things is a movie video call date with a friend, and another one is potentially playing board games with another friend, so like, I've had worse ways to spend my time. Oh, and I bought a pass to PAX East because I got to go last year and I really enjoyed going on like the quiet day of the convention. And this year it's on my literal birthday. Like the Thursday of the convention is my actual birthday. So I decided to do a little treat myself. I'm pretty sure it counts as a business expense because I will be purchasing some stuff for my shop and projects and everything like I did last year. And if I'm documenting the process, I need to look into it. I'd be going regardless. That's not normally something I would splurge on for myself. But since I don't do a fuck all for myself. Oh, my video is done. Oh, perfect. I can upload it while I sleep. That's the other upside of having short videos. Awesome. That feels very good. But yeah, so it was a busy day, but I made a bag I really like. I got to gift that to someone. I will say, um, it made me feel less bad about the patterns I make because I just assumed because someone else made the pattern, it was going to be better than anything I could come up with. And not that it's a bad pattern. It's not for me. So... I learned some stuff. It was cool to put together. I am better for having done it, but I don't want to make any more of that design. So it did give me the reassurance I needed to just continue tweaking the patterns I have already made for myself. They're all the ones that are like up for free on my Patreon. If you ever want to like look at my bag patterns, they're, I feel like they're nothing special, but like they get the job done and they have evolved over the years. So Anyway, I'm gonna finish the last of my vanilla sleepy time tea. I am just now finally getting tired. How's it going? She'll be doing that thing like a lizard when it's on a really hot surface and it like switches its feet. <laughs> 
But yeah, is, uh, if Mara does some like parkour shit across the wall. I, w I was going to ask, is, is there like rough enough surface that there would be traction or is it like a smooth? Investigation? Okay, that is a 19. I th yeah, I'm thinking like, I'm sure there were a lot of scenarios when she was first getting into the city stealing shit that she probably had to like get away in some scenarios. Maybe that's where like the practice has come from. Yeah, I imagine these pauses aren't actually happening and everyone is just like, Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can Mara be like, what, what's the vibe in there? <laughs> the vibes are not chill in there. Okay, hi, good morning. It's Monday, the 26th of February. I actually took some time to myself this weekend. Well, kind of. <laughs> Thursday night, which I think was the last time I was filming, I was getting ready to run a trivia, which actually it was like the second most well attended one. Last month we did the office and I ran out of like packets. So Friday I spent the whole day working at my friend's shop over at Sunny Fox Apothecary and it, it was cool. They just needed help organizing their workshop and I cannot tell you how well suited I am for that kind of work, especially helping somebody else. It was so much fun just getting really granular with like organizing rivets and then stacking hats by color, deciding where certain things were going to get stored. Like I, I am a storage container nerd as shown by how I spent my entire D and D session on Sunday night, other than like I did my nails a little bit. I'm starting to do a thing where I constantly need touch-ups throughout the week, but rather than doing every layer all at once, I did one layer last night. I did some early this morning, then I was washing a lot of produce and cutting stuff up and like just my hands were in water for a while so some of it came off so I touched that up and have added like a second coat to the nails that didn't lose their entire coating of nail polish. So just adding it, not all at the same time because something I'm really bad at is like waiting for it to fully 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 dry before I add the next layer and then it makes it harder for all of them to set. But it's about noon. I have just been doing chores and errands all morning. So I'm very tired because D&D ran late last night and then I had to get up first thing this morning. Just been knocking through my list all day since then. It doesn't feel like I've gotten that much done, but I, but I know I have. It's just wild that I'm already five hours into my day and I feel like I'm kind of just starting it. And that is something I do to myself all the time is I feel like I don't do anything, but again, this is why I benefit from doing these vlogs as well, is just like sharing it with everybody else. It helps my brain not be a dick, or at least not as much of a dick. And yeah, anyway, so I was playing D&D and decided, I, I usually need to do something to keep my hands busy, so that's why I will often paint my nails, because it doesn't need brain power, and if I'm doing something menial with my hands, it really helps me focus better on the game because my brain isn't going anywhere else. When I'm doing stuff like that, my brain doesn't feel like it's in my head. It is off in whatever fantasy world is happening. I think that's why I like reading at the gym if I'm on like a bike machine because I don't feel like I'm at the gym 
most of that time. And I'm able to focus better on the book too because I'm sitting on a stationary bike. So I'm not actually going anywhere. I don't need to pay attention to anything other than like, am I thirsty? Probably. Also, hey, let's all, let's all take a little sip of water, huh? I do also have some coffee. So I took all the hardware that I got from Wawalk the other day and I've had stuff organized, but kind of haphazardly in there. So this was a really good excuse to take all of the jewelry out that I had purchased so that I could like pilfer all of the charms and findings off of it and kind of break all the jewelry down and Frankenstein it into other stuff. I love doing that when I'm at a thrift store, especially if there's jewelry that just like doesn't look like it will get utilized otherwise, I will take it apart. Like if the hooks are messed up or like something's missing, those are, I will take those, those are for me. So I did finally sit down and sort through all of the ones that needed to get taken apart, separated the charms, all of that. I had some keychains to put away. I had a bunch of like grommets and I did get a new rivet kit, but I have weirdly like four different sets of grommets with all of the tools that go with it, as well as like metal snaps. I didn't realize I had these. One is from a project I did years ago with my friend Rockwell. We made a watch roll and I completely forgot that I still had hardware from that. I'm not really a gold, brassy kind of person anyway. I don't actually know that there's enough matching pieces to do more than one set of this stuff, if that, but it's because we made the watch roll adjustable. So we needed multiple like female parts to go on. So I have a ton of male parts, which is an odd sentence to say. I have some thread to organize and this is where this storage system gets put and it's a lot harder to grab stuff off to the right. So it occurred to me like, hey, let's put the more necessary things towards the left so that when I go to reach in, I'll actually be able to access and like look at things. And if there's other stuff that I don't need to reach as much, it's not gonna be that annoying cause it'll be out of the way. I don't see myself needing to use jingle bells anytime soon. If I'm doing math, I have to play like, 8-bit music, like Fever from Dr. Mario. There's a video on YouTube that's like a 10 hour loop of that song. Genuinely helps me get through like pattern drafting and stuff. Brains are wild, my dudes. So yeah, I got all of my new D-rings sorted. I do get a little frustrated that each of these come in individual bags. Thankfully, our local grocery stores take plastic bag recycling. So any that I'm not reusing in my shop myself, I can always bring to a place like that. Okay, I just went on an absolute tirade about a comment I saw, not even on one of my videos. Someone commented that home sewers using things like polyester grow grain ribbon are destroying the planet as much as the fast fashion industry. And I cannot abide by that. You can't just you can't just say that your words mean things. Absolutely, try to be conscientious about where your material is coming from and where it's going. Certainly something to be cognizant of, but do not put that kind of weight on yourself. I'm not saying like, what's the point of recycling if all these big companies are just gonna keep ruining the planet anyway? I'm not trying to take that like nihilistic approach. Don't feel like you are a morally corrupt person because the like Walmart ribbon you have in your stash that has been sitting there for 12 years and you want to use to stabilize a waistline in a dress you're making. I, I don't think that makes you a bad person and I don't think you are single-handedly destroying the planet. So I'll leave it at that. Anyways, <laughs> my brain has been going to some places today. I've been reliving some like hyper specific childhood moments. And it's, it's been, it's been very bizarre. I don't know if it's just the lack of sleep or what is happening. I did make a point to spend time with friends this weekend, which was nice. I got to hang out with some friends after trivia Thursday night. I basically hung out with friends all day Friday, even though we were busting our asses in the workshop, overhauling everything. It was, it was still super fun hangs. It just feels so easy hanging out with them, which is, which is really nice, especially for like newer friends in my life not feeling like I have to be on. I can tell I've been doing a lot of mental health work in therapy because that is not something I thought would come so easily. I had to hang out with my best friend on Saturday. We just shot the shit for a couple hours. It was lovely. Thank you for hanging out. And then I got to have a video date with a further away friend who's also one of my best friends. And we watched Coraline, which I had never seen the whole thing. Cause here's what happened the first time I tried watching it when it came out is uh, everybody that was watching it at this like friend of a friend's apartment wanted to watch the 
3D version and they all have the 3D glasses. Thing is, I can't see out of one eye, so 3D stuff does not work for me. Uh, my depth perception isn't really a thing, so <laughs> I got really queasy watching it and I just straight up couldn't look at the screen for a bunch of it. So I remember certain moments but I didn't really remember the storyline or the feeling of the whole movie. I just remember like the tunnel and that there are button eyes involved. And that was, I didn't even remember that there was a cat in that movie or mice. Didn't remember any of that. So it was really nice getting to watch it and then any excuse to, to hang out with that friend too. So thank you also for hanging out with me, especially as adults now, it's really, meaningful to me when people I care about very much and want to spend time with will also set aside time to spend with me. It makes me feel valued in their life because part of a conversation I was having over the weekend is time protection. My downtime to myself is so precious to me now, so it takes more for me to give that up for somebody, and I do need to do it more because I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of people's lives that are important to me. And it's just, it, I know it's just the way of getting older. I do feel like I don't give my friendships enough time and I can make all the excuses I want about the fact that I'm self-employed. I have a flexible schedule, but I am never not working. Taking basically the whole weekend off, the only bit of work I did was organizing all that stuff during D&D, which it is a big deal for me. I never, just take a weekend off like that. So that was very nice. And I feel like I had a little reset in the sewing room for this morning. An idea that I had while talking to one of my fellow crafty friends is I have a map of the US. I also have a world map, but that is much harder to get to as it's hidden behind the storage bin that I just situated. But I have access to the States map and I've only sent Etsy orders out to like five countries. I actually wrote them all down. Germany, Turkey, Australia, Canada, the UK, and Switzerland. Oh, I said Canada. Specifically Nova Scotia, British Columbia, and Ontario. Also, did you know the drinking age in Alberta, Manitoba, and Quebec is 18, but every other province is 19? That was a question I was gonna have as a tiebreaker on the uh, beer quiz I did the other day. <laughs> also, listen, if you grew up in New England, the second people turned 18, there was a there was a pilgrimage to Montreal to be able to drink. I guess I went when I was like 19 maybe, I got my passport because you needed your passport to go across the border by then. Because it used to be so much easier to just pop over the border. But I went to Canada for a warp tour because I think I went to like three that year, 2009, 2008. But I did get a beer at warp tour. It was raining so hard. I feel like half of the beer got splashed out onto the ground slash the beer was filling up with rainwater because it was such a torrential downpour. RIP to that video camera and that cell phone. <laughs> and yes, it was a flip phone. And yes, it was the first one to ever have a camera on it. And my God, those pictures were terrible. I remember being annoyed that I did not get ID'd. I got a big ass like solo cup full of Budweiser and just didn't get questioned by anybody. I was weirdly sad I didn't get carded. It was like, should have been doing this long ago. I feel like people never know what to expect with my age. It's either they think I'm significantly younger. I'll take the compliment. I get a lot of weird comments about my skin and, uh, you know, learning I have a connective tissue disorder. It makes sense now, not why people... Oh shit. Dude, that is an ominous tech. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. I was worried for a second. Did you see my face? <laughs> that was a good interrupter. I want to put pins on this map to indicate where I have sent packages. I made a list. I went through every single Etsy sale I've ever made. I want to say there's 10 or 11 states I have not sent stuff to. Oh my god. Mm. In theory, I thought having pins in there would be good. But the thought of like brushing against this when they're sticking out, like you can see I have stuff against it. Also, that's gonna hurt my fingers so bad. It's just drywall, like it's nothing fancy back here, but it's not like it's cork. Oh, maybe some other surface. I will still mark this, but just differently. I'm gonna grab, I think just like a fun colored Sharpie. Ooh, Posca pen maybe? That seems better. Oh my God, that. I don't know if you saw 
my reaction to trying to do that, but mm -mm, mm -mm. I do have a couple places starred that I have specifically traveled to, so I don't want to like get rid of those. <gasps> Maybe I can use Posca pens and outline the, the states I've sent stuff to. I think if I outline them, that might be the move. Do we do stickers? Because look at, like, you can't even tell all the ones I just outlined. I can't even tell the ones I just outlined. Barely. Barely. I can see the little heart I just did up here better than. I think stickers. I have so many of them. Let's look. Let's look. I didn't think this was going to be as much of a struggle as it has been. <laughs> stickers are going to be way more satisfying. Also, can you tell my mom used to work at Michael's Arts and Crafts? <laughs> so many. So many of these, my dudes. Okay. I do, in fact, have 10 states that I have not sent anything to. So, West Virginia. Oh, actually, just kidding. Can I not count? That's bad math. What am I missing? Oh, how, some, somehow I have sent to Utah, but not Vermont. I've been to Vermont in the past couple months, but I apparently haven't sold any of my stuff there. Interesting. Have I done any in-person events? No. Right? Oh, wait, except Mississippi is on here. No. I need to double check what MI is, because it could be Missouri, Mississippi, it's Michigan. I think Mississippi is MS, right? It's gotta be. So let's try this one more time. The 11 states I have not sent to are Vermont, somehow, Delaware, West Virginia, Hawaii, Alaska, Iowa, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, Wyoming, and Mississippi. Okay, this feels like an achievable goal. I would like to, by the end of this year, have sent something to all of those states. I think I'm gonna like come up with a map of the US and mark out the states I haven't done so that I can share it in like a TikTok or a reel, but I wanna do it once I have new listings up. Okay, I'm gonna do the seven things I just listed out and immediately forgot. Okay, hi, I feel like I filmed some stuff I was doing yesterday, but I worked on a bunch more label colors because I only had a couple and realized I had other colors of heat transfer vinyl. So I went through and used all the ones I have. I still gotta like cut these up and everything and I still gotta weed out the, the rest of the ones that I haven't weeded out yet. But that should cover me for a good long while. I definitely do this thing where I get overwhelmed at the thought of taking my Cricut out to do stuff, but it's not that time consuming to like take it out, set it up, do something. Like it takes up a lot of space, so I like to dedicate a window of time to it, but it's not as involved as I think it is. And then I did a test run of the bird scissors. I have to shrink them down and make sure it works properly. And then I will use my actual silver and gold pieces for that. I really like the pigment of all of these. It might change when the, it gets shrunken down, shrinked down, shrank down. With these rainbow ones, it's stuff I've never used, so I don't know how it's gonna behave, but I, I like the color selection quite a bit. Just gonna keep brainstorming. I do have blank full sheets to use, but I also have some of my like recycled pieces ready to fly. Bert would like to greet his people. Hi, baby. <gasps> oh, I forgot about these. Remember when I tried making my own buttons and for some reason didn't use the Cricut for it? I don't know why. I think I couldn't get it to work or something. That would be fun to experiment with, especially with the solid color buttons. Hi. <laughs> like have them be a solid color, but make the buttons like literally any shape. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Ideas are happening. What do you think, crazy man? I do not like kisses. Thank you so much though. His little, his little cheeks and his little feet are getting so white. Oh, big yawns. Oh, so stinky. So stinky. Little bog of eternal stench mouth. I felt bad because I put him in his pen so I could go out and run some errands, one of which was going through the car wash and I got so sick going through. I have often had like motion sickness get triggered via the car wash, but this was, 
some next level shit, man. I don't know why it was so bad today, but like I am still not back to 100%. I reused a water bottle to get some liquid IV going. I have some other water. I have some caffeine from this little coffee shop in town. They might be my new breakfast sandwich place because the one I used to go to is not open anymore. And that's something I will treat myself to every so often. That's my like big indulgence is like a big honkin' egg sandwich. Your girl knows how to party. <laughs> I am still feeling not great. My head's been kind of in a weird place this week, so I'm just gonna watch some movies or something on my laptop. Keep noodling with this, do some more tags. <sighs> gonna breathe, gonna chill. You guys wanna take some drugs? It's, it's time to take my meds. Take your meds, drink your water. My sewing room is chaos. I spent some time weeding out more strips of heat transfer vinyl and I did move around a container. I used to keep batteries in, so then this was like half empty. So all that stuff has been moved and I can keep all my labels that are already made and separate everything by color, which is satisfying my brain. I am also gonna cut my hair. And I mean like the sides. I wish my hair didn't look so gross to me when it's coming in on the sides because I don't, necessarily like having it shaved down all the way on the sides. I like when there's something there, but because my hair is so thin and so fine and I have so little of it, it, it really just looks kind of gross. No matter how freshly washed it is, it is not freshly washed, I assure you. Question for any of you that use beard trimmers. I need a recommendation on like a brand or like maybe a type to use because this isn't working anymore. It has brand new batteries in it. I have swapped multiple sets of batteries and that's as much oomph as this one has, which is a bummer. Also, I really like this bag from uh, ALB. I always want to say their username as Alb in Wonderland, but ALB in Wonderland. This is like a $10 beard trimmer. I got it Ocean State job lot, I think, and it works okay. But the problem is the way the guard works, it doesn't stay pushed up. So annoyingly, I have to do a number one setting. Anyways, just, I'd appreciate some recommendations. Anyways, this is the before, and I will pop back on once I am freshly shorn. <laughs> okay, and here's what it looks like. I was gonna dye my hair. I'm still debating it. I'm not gonna put any product in it or style it, and I'll just see how the day goes. I have decided, because it's like midday on Thursday, and I'm really, really stressing myself out, trying to get the projects I'm partway through done, because I want to like finish Cricut stuff and be done with it for the week, so that the next two weeks, I can just dedicate to sewing inventory for my next couple events. And I wanna go back through and like tag all the stuff that doesn't currently have tags. It also only occurred to me while I was in the shower just now that bags such as my little dumplings, I was like, oh, it feels like a big thing to stick in there if I'm putting a full tag in here. I think it would be fine to just directly iron the vinyl onto there on the inside and just cut out a couple steps. Let me know if that's a bad idea. So anyway, I say all this to give the excuse for not getting this studio vlog out this week because I've been trying to post like longer video and then on my off weeks posting a shorter video, which I know means those aren't off weeks. And I have been very overwhelmed. Like my brain has just not been in a great space the past couple of days. So to give myself a little grace, I was like, you know what, I'm just not gonna do a video. Cause I was also thinking, oh, if I get all glammed up, I can film a video and keep it short and like be able to knock out a quick editing session talking about a decade running my own business and kind of like how it got started. Cause it, it's a little bit of a funny story how I started selling stuff in the first place. I thought it'd be fun to share. And then, so I get out of the shower, I'm, moisturized and I brushed out my hair and everything and was like, you know what? If I'm gonna talk about a decade of my life, that often doesn't involve me being super 
dolled up or anything. If I want people to learn more about me, I wanna just come how I normally am, which is like t-shirt, jeans, flannel, <laughs> and just do a quick like sit and chat type of thing. So I think, I think we're gonna do like a quick little coffee talk. I really want to tell that story and this is not the anniversary of me opening my Etsy shop but me making my first sales of things was the end of February slash beginning of March. It was over the course of a couple days. Listen, I'll explain it but I like really want to tell that story because that's all I've been thinking about like all morning and I also want to be able to relax tomorrow at least come afternoon time because I am going on a dinner and a show date with my partner because this weekend, at technically Monday, is our 13th anniversary. Bert is coming to say hi again. Have I mentioned it's Thursday? Because it's Thursday. He is the stinkiest of beans. Hi, baby. What's up? I do not want kisses. Thank you, though. Oh, can you tell I was kind of getting caught up in the chaos that is my brain just then? I'm gonna take a breather, relax a little bit, film that other video, Come back in here, finish the multi- Oh no. What just came out of your head? Oh, you poor guy. But also I think I need to go change now. All dogs are so gross, but so sweet. Doesn't mean he loves me if he gets his booger snots all over my clothes. I literally just got dressed. It's not your fault. It's not your fault you didn't ask for this. If it weren't for the fact that he is gonna be 16 in a couple months and has a heart murmur, I would have just all of his teeth taken out, but I'm not willing to have him go under for like a non-life-threatening surgery type thing. I do what I can to help him with that, but it, you know, there's only so much damage control you can do. And dachshunds are notorious for super gnarly mouths. That's one of the main downsides to getting an already old dog. It's like, we can't control what anybody did to you before, but that's okay. We can just make you as happy and comfortable and loved as we can. We've had him four and a half years now. Wow, that's pretty cool. Like we got him, he was already 11 when we got him. So you never know, our last guy, where I know some of you were around for Frank. I think it's been eight years since he passed, but we had him just under three years. And uh, yeah, he was in rough shape, but he, he was a sweet boy. I mean, he tried to bite a couple people, but listen, He'd seen some things, much much like Bert has seen some things, so they get passes. It's not their job to like me, it's my job to take care of them and give them a good life. I'm gonna take him outside, have some coffee, film, and I will check in once I know what the hell I'm doing in here afterwards. Let's pretend it's 2001 and I'm about to hit my away message. I'll be back. Okay, so that was all past me. All right, so <laughs> the last thing I filmed was about a month ago. I don't know how. March is always a lot for me for mostly good reasons, but I don't I don't know where it went. Today's the 29th. I have a market tomorrow and then Sunday is Easter and I'm doing some family stuff and then it, we're into April. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> I did mention getting a pass to PAX and I did get to go PAX East and it was so much fun. I love games. I love board games. I don't mind video games. I'm just not as deep into that. I did host beer trivia in March and then next week I'm doing Quentin Tarantino trivia and I have the most cursed idea I have ever come up with. I apologize in advance. Then I did do a market. It was Pop Anime Con at Mill Number no. 5 in Lowell and it went decently well. It was one of those things where like, I was in the room, all the events were happening, like the main stage was there. It's not a huge convention, but this is the most well attended one they've done so far. So that was cool. But I only ended up selling a couple things. I think I, I broke $200 and the table is 50. Actually, no, the table for this was 65. It was a little bit more because I had a lot more stuff going on. And it was maybe the busiest I've seen the mill since they used to do the Harry Potter events. And thankfully, they do not do Harry Potter events anymore. Those were easily my best selling events, but all of us have given up doing that uh, for obvious reasons. I am very glad and thank you to everybody for letting me take last week off and actually take it off because I talked about doing my two week schedule and every off week doing like a mini video and the 
day I said it in, in this vlog, I immediately burnt myself out. I, I was cooked. That's probably part of why it's been a month since I filmed anything. But I have such a intense fire in my soul right now to make things. I don't know if it was the like 15 minutes of sunshine we got here in New England over the weekend or what. Maybe some of that like residual birthday magic. Oh my God, speaking of birthdays, I got the most lovely care package from a fellow artist friend. Her name's Ashley Morgan. And look at all the things she sent me. She even designed this tissue paper. The cow on the UFO pin moves up and down, so it's actively getting abducted or, or let that go. I'm on my last page of another notepad I've been using up, so the Evil Plans one is like perfectly timed. I already put the Nessie sticker on my water bottle and I'm just so, Thankful, this is all so cool. And thank you for being here. I know you said you've been around for like 10 years and I know that there are a handful of you that have been around that long and that absolutely breaks my brain, but thank you for wanting to hang out with me all this time. And like everybody over on Patreon, so many of you have been around for years. I think my most recent sign up was almost like two years ago. Pretty much everybody has stuck around once they've joined so thank you everybody it breaks my brain that so many of you want to support what i'm doing so especially when i feel like i'm slacking off like i have been this month i know i needed to try to rest i don't know how good of a job i did some of the days like this past week i've been in turbo mode but i have been so 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 motivated for the market i'm doing tomorrow tomorrow's event is called thread and press and it's a fiber arts and printmaking event and that meshes like the two things I'm trying to focus on. This is such a good motivator to actually print my own fabric and then make a batch of bags with it because I've done it in such small bursts before but like that's the direction I want to be going is exactly that. I didn't even get to do all the designs I came up with but I got some cryptid guys going on and some Burt fan art and then a hedgehog and a raccoon in a trash can that I'm so excited about. I have big plans for that idea. I just, I need, I need some like prototyping workshopping to happen in my brain. So I'll take you along for the ride as much as I can and show you all the stuff that I've made in the next studio vlog, as well as I have made a spreadsheet so I can track my sales better and like actually mark down how much of each thing I have been selling because I never did that. I never categorized stuff on my Square app. I just, ran the total through. So it was always just numbers I was looking at and not actually like itemized transactions or anything. So that has already been a huge help. Very much looking forward to continuing doing that throughout the year. It's color coded, all that good stuff. I did, I made 42 bags this past week and they're all out of self-printed fabric that I made the week before. So it, it feels like such a passion project and I'm I'm so excited about it. I don't think I've felt this fired up in a while about anything I've been making, so it's real nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go on a belated birthday adventure to go see the new Ghostbusters movie. I will see you back here in two weeks with another studio vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out. It was $69, nice. Likely I'm just gonna end up hanging out with some cats tomorrow and hammering some leather, you know? <laughs>